All right, full house. So first of all, thank you. Thank you everybody who came today to celebrate with us this moment, this really important moment for us at Palais. But before I talk and I speak and I dive into what we're doing together, I want to thank Satya Tripathi from a glo uh, the Global Alliance for a Sustainable Planet because he brought me to India. And last October when I came here, I realized that I missed something my whole life without knowing it. And when I arrived this time, I felt already a little bit at home, honestly. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people. And honestly, I love your spirituality and I love what you have in your minds, in your hearts. And the planet right now needs India, needs Andhra Pradesh, needs Vaisak. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Vaisak ka pradam? Visha pradam. Okay, I, I'm German, okay? So please forgive me. You can criticize me if you can spell my name right. But then I want to also thank um, Dr. Rajiv Kumar, who invited me to a strategic dialogue back then in October. And he brought everybody together, you can bring together in, in this, in this um, country. And we discussed strategic options of s solving the biggest environmental issues we are facing on this planet right now. The plastic crisis, the climate crisis, the fishing crisis. And from this high-level conversation, I landed then this year in Andhra Pradesh, and I met you. Jagan Mohan Reddy. So... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Took it. So, I don't know what to do now. What do you want from me? All right, I'm gonna have, I have to learn a lot, okay? Um, so, the interesting thing is, I meet a lot of government leaders. I, need, I meet a lot of presidents. I, have a lot of, I sit in these meetings at the United Nations, World Bank, oh, endless meetings, lots of words, lots of talking, lots of money spent but not in a good way, often. So this meeting was very different. We met, I think, for two hours, and after that, I met pretty much his whole team, and we worked out a plan without one, within one day, like fast, concrete, all the right people on the table. And I think that was in April. And now we are here, not with words, but with a plan. We're gonna end the plastic crisis in Andhra Pradesh. Rapidly fast. And you can call me now a rag picker. I am probably your number one waste picker from now. Because a waste picker in the future is a very good profession. It's a designer, it's an inventor. It's somebody who has a very good salary. It's somebody who has career opportunities because I think people that actually focus on solving environmental issues need to be celebrated. They shouldn't do it just to survive. So we're bringing jobs. We're building a big facility. We are building a facility that can take trash from the beaches and recycle it. That can use 3D printers and print trash into furniture, houses, boats. So in six years from now, if everything goes according to plan, there is no plastic problem anymore in this state. And plastic, I have to quickly speak about plastic because we grew up with this idea that plastic is so good, it's so modern, it's futuristic, it's great. It's not. Sorry to break it to you. Plastic is a design failure. Plastic consists of very nasty chemicals. And if you take a plastic bottle and put it into the sun, or even if you don't put it into the sun, it leaches chemicals into the water. It sheds microparticles into the water. It gases off chemicals. Plastic is not 
the solid object that is safe. It's actually quite dangerous. It creates a lot of sicknesses. And not just for animals. And if you know a fisherman, if you are a fisherman, then you know what plastic does to the fish. It's very rare that you find a fish without plastic in its belly. It's very rare that you feel, find a goalkeeper, a soccer goalkeeper, that doesn't have chemicals of plastic in their blood. Because the grass they play on is made from plastic. And when they fall, when they jump, it goes into their system. It's very rare, and I bet of everybody here in the room, you all have plastic traces in your blood. And that's dangerous. It doesn't belong there. So plastic needs to go. But right now, I wouldn't be here. We are depending on plastic. And this is the first step that we're doing. We stop making more plastic. We take everything back that we made already, recycle it and make products out of that. But in 10 years from now, we should not have plastic anymore. We should have new materials that are as intelligent as a flower. I'm happy it's not a plastic flower. So we have not been able to grow materials like nature does. But that's the target. The ultimate target is to be as intelligent, as high-tech as nature is. Grow stuff instead of killing, instead of polluting. That's true high-tech. Millions and billions years of research and development. And that brings me again to India, that brings me again to Andhra Pradesh, that brings me again to Vaisak. I believe that this country can crack the future of materials based on biology. I believe that you, we together, can create a material revolution and can totally innovate, totally change what the West made wrong in the first place by introducing materials that are toxic. Thank you.